Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Hello That's All podcast. I'm Anise. I'm Alabo. And we're thrilled to be your host for today's episode. We have a very special guest with us here today. Uh, she's not just a talented person, but a very, very pretty girl with us. Can you please give us a brief introduction about yourself? Hi everyone, thank you for having me today. Um, first of all, let's let me start with my name. My name is Kenny Rite and I am a student here at Tetsa College. I'm pursuing my bachelor's degree in psychology and I'm in my sixth semester right now. <laughs> and let me just say, if I'm not mistaken, your your members are all like under 20 years, mid 20s? Um, early 20s. Early 20s. Mm. And they promote mental health and then it's awareness and so like, ah. Oh. I don't have enough words to describe the team of this. So, like, can you please tell us a little bit about your workshop that you have done and the mm. team? So, um, our team of tea, we are a group of young individuals who are trying to promote mental health, and it's um, you know important to the young minds of our society today. Uh, right now, we have completed a very big project I would say. It was a three days mental health campaign. Uh, it was done in the district of Peck, uh, that's a raw town. And so this three days mental health campaign was um, done with a few resource person. So um, we also had the Department of Psychology of Tetsu College involved in this campaign. So that was uh, pretty much it. We, I think we had a very fruitful session all together and we were able to help and promote mental health in many ways. Yeah, and also help the young individuals. That's incredibly inspiring, Kenny. Um, can you tell us a bit more about the goals and objectives of Team Afti? So our main goal is to promote, uh, you know, mental health well-being in every person of our horizon, mm -hmm. and to you know, to start with that, we need to build awareness on it. So our main goal right now is to create um, workshops, to conduct workshops, and to, you know conduct uh, awareness camps and all for the awareness of it. <coughs> um, are you planning to like uh, set up any workshops in the college itself here? Um, we do have some few plans but let's see. Uh, right now we are planning on webinars and all. I think that would be able um, to help many people as well. You know, some people are not able to attend the workshops or campaigns due to transportation problems or anything. So I think online webinars and all, it would be a good um, initiative, I believe. So like, as a student from the Tatsu College, like, do you get any like, you say you talked about the research persons from the Tatsu College. Hmm. So like, was it beneficial being a student of Tatsu and being a young manager of the team? I think that's a college, um, if you talk about the benefits I've gained from this college, it would be almost everything I have right now or I have become, I think that's a college was my starting point. And of course, the resource persons, when you talk about it, uh, our department teachers, I am from the Department of Psychology as well, so our department teachers were so um, willing to help me in this uh, course. And yeah, I would say it was very beneficial for me to be a part of that so family nice. so <coughs> uh, like a lot of people interviews you they come to you like asking all about your uh, the peasant pageantry. the pageant the yeah. pageantry so like aside from that today as a student of the Tetsu college like how do you manage uh, being in this uh, having a social life and <coughs> as a student like how do you manage the Ongoing activities, you know. Right. Um, I think when people ask me that, I have only one question: is to live in the moment. Like when I am in college, I would be a student, nothing else. And but of course, it's it's harder than you know it looks. Huh? Um, but I think with proper time management, I, everything is possible. Of course, I do have I do get help from my teachers as well in you know uh, catching up with the ongoing lessons. Yeah, so. 
Uh, so, uh, do the college like uh, give you any consideration or leave like when you're supposed to like say for example your team AFTI, mm. uh, there is a requirement for you to have a workshop in another district mm -hmm. or another place. So like, do you get a special consideration of attendance or like? Especially, I think that's always very considerate towards uh, their students who are involved in other extracurricular activities, and I think that's the um, one very good quality about the college. And yeah, surely I do get some, you know, help from the college as well whenever I have to travel or anything. Um, yeah. Okay, was there any specific reason for taking up uh, psychology as your core paper? Um, psychology, the subject psychology has always intrigued me in so many ways. And I was uh, especially interested in psychopathology and criminal psychology. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, when I heard that Tetsuo was offering a course in psychology, I expected nothing less. And so, it's my, um, you know, curiosity to know learn more about the subject and also yeah i feel like psychology uh, as a subject also helps you in so many ways and that way you are able to help people around you so uh, as a student from the psychology department mm. there is this one of this very well-known meme like student of psychology like if you're depressed go study your notes oh <laughs> Like this is like one of the most common, the trend. Hmm. So like, do you have any like objection? Like, how do you how do you want to justify the rest of the psychology department students and God. this meme? What I feel about the meme is quite funny. That's all. Nothing personal. I we don't take it personal, but yeah, it's quite funny, and I see where it's coming from. Do you try to practice those coping mechanisms that you learn in your subject into oh. your daily life? I think psychology as a subject is so applicable in like day-to-day -day life. No? Uh, you just don't learn it, you apply it in whatever you are doing, especially, you know, uh, learning about different attachment styles or learning about different coping mechanisms, defense mechanism styles. Those are the things which are very, I think, very beneficial to us as a person. So I do sometimes try to apply it, yeah. Can you mention one, like, any specific practice which you have, like, carried out in your daily life? Mm. Which you have learned from the subject itself? Uh, from psychology itself? Yes. If you can... I think um, our, the power of our subconscious mind is very mm -hmm. strong. So whatever you think will always, you know, um, end up happening in real life. So I... Just want to tell you all to think positive things, so that positive things can happen to you. In no way I'm uh, telling you to be a foolish optimist, but it's always nice to you know look at the greener side of the. When you view. talk about positive things, we can talk about the motto of our college: striving for excellence. Dear viewers. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as is, you're in your final year, final hmm. year, so. Do you have like any uh, thing you want to say about the college, like the advantages, the benefit of being a Tatsu student? Mm. As I've already said, Tetsu student, uh, being a Tetsu student, it has not mm. only helped me academically, of course, I have also learned so much academically, but uh, it has helped me in so many ways, you know, to apply all those knowledge which I have uh, gathered in my recent years into practice, into the real world. Right? It has given me opportunities after opportunities in so many different fields, so that would be one advantage that I have gained and I think it's almost applicable for all the students here the uh, there is ample amount of you know opportunities that that job provides and I think we should only be smart enough to take up those chances um, as a student of that so there are like uh, two cafeterias hmm. so which one would you pick um, or go to two cafeterias are you talking about the hotspot and the veg section High cafeteria and hotspot, yes. High cafeteria. Oh, it's called, yeah, right. Mm. Um, <laughs> I would always pick the coffee cafe. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about that. 
Yeah, Nagalen Coffee Cafe. I think uh, their iced Americano is amazing. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Are you a coffee person? Uh, I cannot. I I am not. You know, like I can. My body cannot stand uh, stand caffeine. Oh. But I love drinking coffee. How many shots of Americano? <laughs> um, espresso. Uh, espresso. I in my Americano, I like two shots of espresso with no sugar. That's heavy. Nice. Um, do you have like any secret spot? Your favorite spot? It will always be the library. Yeah. Um, fun fact: When I first joined Tetsu College, I kind of missed some of my classes because I got confused with the routine. So I would always be there in the <laughs> library. Same. Uh, and Same. library has become my comfort place yes yeah it's and amazing and then the collection of books oh, is really nice it's really good they have like all the genres mm. <gasps> name the books if they're in that's a library yeah, yeah. I, I think of uh, visitors are allowed yes yes, yes, yes they, they, are, uh, they are you can always come visit yes and it oh. opens from 9 till 4 p.m and it's not just the library but the cart the gym the, hmm, arena. the new renovated gym is quite yes. good i've seen some pictures of it Oh, yes, and uh, I'm sure, and I'm like, there are benefits for Tetsu students, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gym membership yes, yes, and membership. Um, Get your membership. <laughs> Join Tetsu College. Talking <laughs> about the library spot, uh, which, uh, which section do you prefer the most? Uh, it will always be the psychology section. The psychology mm -hmm. section. <laughs> Self-help help books are amazing. But yes. yeah, you need you should not only read it but try to apply it. Since we're talking about books, like, would you recommend any books for our viewers to read? Um, it can I, be psychology literature. I am a big fan of Paulo Coelho, so oh, any of I've his read books. One. Uh, I, I any of it, yeah, eleven minutes oh. and the classic The Alchemist, of really? course, and then Fyodor, um, his the books. Book. Mm, Dostoyevsky. Dostoy <laughs> I feel very stupid. Crime and punishment. Yes. Yeah, that that is a yes. classic one. That is a classic. Yes. One. And um, I have so many like things I like. Uh, yeah, but those would be like my favorite. And Choose of course, one. Jane Austen books are amazing. Oh. It's an escape for real of you know from reality for me. You know, like if you're into, you're a from the psychology department, hmm. right? So, like, I have a really good suggestion. Hmm. Uh, it's a philosophical book, The Courage to Be Disliked. The Courage. Yes. I think I've read that book. Really? Because yeah. it talks about how, like, no matter whatever happens in your life, it's always up to you how you wish to live your life. Hmm, exactly. So, like, oh. even if you have those uh, dramas, those negative comments, those negativity around you, it's always up to you. It, take it hmm. in or, like, Filter everything no, like, out which is not needed, right? Oh, the book mm. really... It's yeah. a really good book. You guys should read if you guys are really into books. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. And it's all available at it's That's all Library. All. And even if I'm not mistaken, uh, The End of Us is also available. The End of Us. <laughs> the End of Us. There are so many good... Uh, the like, End of Us? It the ends end with it us. Ends. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it ends with uh, us. Sorry. <laughs> The end no, of us. I was <laughs> like, what book is that? Sounds familiar. <laughs> yes. uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you get how, confused yes. with that. That's just how I'm not a rom com person. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> but yeah, hmm. that is the trend. So, like, there are so many uh, very good books. Hmm. So many good books. And if you're like uh, wondering what kind of books are available, uh, you can get an access. There are certain pages for Tetsu College, if I'm not mistaken. But I think those are accessible only for Tetsu students. No, 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 not the, not the college library. The Instagram page. Oh, yeah, oh, do check yes, out the yes, Tetsu Library Instagram page. Yes. Yeah. And it's at it's Tetsu, Tetsu Library. Tetsu library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Tetsu can just library. type in yeah, Tetsu yeah. Library and it, you find it. So, Tetsu College is also very well known for its club, hmm. the college club. Variety of clubs. And I am, if I'm not mistaken, they won a trophy for the one leg cash prize, yeah, the drama club. The drama club. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So, are you any member or like of the involved club? In, involved okay. in any of the club? Uh, I, our newest club. Creators Club, which is uh, focusing on social media content creating and you know uh, advertisement and all. Um, I am one of the members there, 
and mm. I th we are going to start our content creation soon. Oh, so nice. we would be taking over Instagrams and um, YouTubes and all, and then we would be uploading uh, different kind of contents, oh, you know. Nice. So, yeah, uh, the viewers can also suggest what kind of contents they want to see from the Tetsu students. Yes, that yes. way, like, we can make it more interactive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that particular club would, like, create a wider outreach for our college. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's really good. Uh, more, more, like, the students would immediately be involved with content creation. So, I think um, that way it could be more interactive and more fun for the viewers also. Mm. Muscom students should sign up for this. I think uh, <laughs> Muscom students are should. It's necessary for them to be involved with it. Oh. Terms are going to be out soon. Um. That that way you'll know what's gonna happen. Yeah, do suggest like really like instead of just leaving some helpful comments, you can like review and then leave some mm. comments on what content you want this. Uh, the YouTube channel, the podcast to be about, so mm. that like we can give you the, you know, like we can serve you, allow us to serve you. Yeah, tell us what you need, yeah, and it shall us. be on your table. Yes, let us cook. <laughs> let us cook. Let us cook. Yeah, well, I think the content creators club would like um, help your team itself, team of team. I think we could do something with that. Yeah, yes. right, right. Mm -hmm. That's a n nice idea. Yes. Yeah, and then people can also be a part of Team Afti. We are like more than happy to have oh, people. Oh, you're recruiting? Not recruiting exactly because it's a team, right? Yes, like yes, we, yes. we could, right. it's just a group of friends mm -hmm. coming together, working towards something we are all passionate about. And I think our young generation should be, you know, concerned about the ongoing mental health crisis in our state. So any individuals who are concerned or who are interested to help can join us in all ways. We will be having our webinar <coughs> soon and then we can all be a part of it. Yeah, that's really good. That sounds really good. Because like, I feel like mental health, it has no age or like no hmm. time. Like, it, mm -hmm. just, it can just happen. Mm -hmm. And then the thing is, uh, you know, mental health problems affect one out of every four individuals oh. of the population. So it's quite relevant, you know, in our society. Yes, yes. It's just the ignorance that's hiding it away, pushing it under the rock. No? Yes, and I, I, I'm really against this generalization of mental health, that like, men should not be emotional, men can't be emotional. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, as a human, no, like, everyone has emotions and they have their own right mm -hmm. to just express how they feel. Regardless of any gender, mm -hmm. race, or, you know, color, ethnicity, we are all human beings at True. our core level. So I think um, just like physical health issues, uh, just like we face physical health issues, we face mental health issues, every one of us. Mm -hmm. And we are all, you know, um, we are, we all should be able to ask for help and seek help. But mm -hmm. then the thing with it is, um, as, you, as you have mentioned about gender, uh, you know, discrimination on mental health. Uh, sometimes instead of, I'm talking it on an overall perspective, it's just a message I want to get, um, you know, through. So instead of, you know, provide it, uh, telling them to take care of themselves or mm -hmm. providing them, you know, ways to build a better life, uh, it's the community care people need the most sometimes. Yes. Yes. Really, because Oh, everyone uh, just have a tough day, just kids. Mm -hmm. So like sometimes a shoulder and or a hug is what we need, like a companion. Yeah, obviously, obviously. An ear would do. Yeah, an ear would do. Um, actually, the thing is, uh, team Afti. Afti is derived from the Greek word. It's called ear. Yeah, yeah. it means to ha give a listen to bad. people's, you know, stories and all. Blending your ear. Hmm. Mm. It's really nice. Uh, so I heard about the Tetsu community welcoming you at the airport tea. <laughs> so like, you know, can you tell us like how you felt when you won the Miss Northeast uh, title of 2023 and seeing your like college your, mates, your friends, your, oh. fr your family. Hmm. I think uh, success is sweeter when you celebrate it with the people you love. And of course that moment was 
so emotional and overwhelming for me as well to see my families, my friends, my uh, you know supporters, the community I have. I think uh, it was quite. Um, I was quite happy to see all of them, and yeah. That so always have been supporting me and having hopes on me in so many, you know, uh, in so many things I have done. And this time too, they supported me a lot, and I'm just very thankful to everyone. Uh, for me, I feel like Tetsu is not just a college. It's like once you get admitted in Tetsu College, you are a community, you are a family, and even the director, the teachers, they're like. So giving, mm -hmm. like any time they're like ready to help us. Mm -hmm. I really like that about the Tatsu College. I think the faculty members, the teaching staff, they are so you know um, selfless at yeah. times for their students, right. and that's what makes our you know um, our time more memorable here. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, true. So that was all for today's episode. Thank you, Kenny, for joining us. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll be bringing in a gold medalist from Nagaland Olympics. And please do leave a comment and press the like button at least. Like, share, subscribe. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.